Hey bro, hey what's up bro? So, I've been having some troubles uh, really thinking about an original intro. Again, you know, I've done some pretty cool ones, but I'm all out of them, you know, I don't know what to do right now. I mean bro, uh, let's let's just use this, you know, I'm, uh, I'm wearing these funky boxing gloves and all. It's gonna be mildly entertaining at least. Yeah, right, so people can see how lazy I am. Yeah, but actually, why are you wearing those boxing gloves, bro? Oh yeah, this. I'm glad you asked, bro. I'm going to have to whoop your ass, you know, because you took the less protein scoop, so... There's that, you know. God damn it, not again, bro. <laughs> Hey, what is up, fit fam? Celso here, and that little guy never takes my last scoop of protein, okay? Yeah, there's that, it's dealt with anyway, so let's go. Now, today's topic is going to be on how long do you actually need to work out in order to get jacked, to get big, to get lean. And to do this, because images are worth a thousand words or something like that, I'm going to show you guys real life examples which I uh, picked in order to uh, give you guys a sense of the time you'll need to invest in order to get the results. So, come on with me. Welcome back guys, now we're uh, just starting to go through this and uh, this first guy I'm going to show you guys is a uh, two year transformation and as you guys can see it is actually a lot done in only two years I mean he went from scrawny and real just like skinny to actually an Abercrombie model so yeah so this is a two year transformation which I think is feasible now next we're going to talk about another two-year transformation and once again it's a theme as you can see this guy was really scrawny really skinny and in two years look at the amount of mass he put on his build i mean it's like it's a different person he's even more tan so yeah you won't be able to get sick or really uh, oh my god transformations in two years i mean this is amazing already these these both two guys in two years accomplished a lot but it's not near the level of um, uh, that some people think they will get in two years okay so keep that in mind now this is the third one we're going to talk about this young man really scrawny once again really skinny and he put on a lot of mess for only three years of working out and doing this properly this guy i mean this guy i am not really sure if this one is or is not a natural transformation I do think it is because it is a drastic transformation in four years, but it was four years of hard work, of course, and you gotta know that the guy shows the perfect lighting, he also uh, got a little bit of a pump before he took his photo, he's obviously flexing, so yeah, I do think this can be natural. The next one, five years transformation. Now, as you can see, it was once again scrawny skinny and now he has i mean look at look at those biceps you know it's like one of my legs almost okay not really but you know what i mean it's really he put on a lot of mess really nice work from this guy you know five years well invested but as you can see it is a significant difference but it but it is five years of training not five weeks now the last one i wanted to talk about look at this beast okay this one is a eight year transformation. This guy is almost eating his uh, genetic limit. Uh, if he hasn't already, he will be putting on a little mess from here on now. I mean, it's pretty much as uh, at where he'll be for the rest of his life if he continues to train and eat properly. But look at the difference. I mean, the guy is a beast, you know. In eight years, he went from saying hello, sir, to your daughter calls me daddy too. So yeah, nothing more to say about this transformation. Now, you guys seen some examples already. Let's talk about you. Not about them, let's talk about you. How long do you need to get yoked, to get jacked, to, to take off that shirt and girls be like, wow, I don't really care. Yeah, that's another thing. I think guys care more about physique than girls. But anyway, you know, how much time do you need to invest to look yourself at the mirror and be like, damn, you're jacked, bro. Well, tricky. I've been working out for uh, one year, uh, around one year, 
uh, maybe a little bit more. And I can say for myself that when I take my shirt off, I mean, I don't really feel like people can tell I go to the gym yet. It's like, I did change a lot, I was really fat, now I'm way, way better. But I don't think people can really tell, hmm, this guy goes to the gym, you know? Now, when can people actually start looking at you and telling, hmm, this guy seems like he goes to the gym? I would say the two-year mark. Two-year mark is when you look like, okay, this guy goes to the gym, this guy is athletic, he's got some nice muscles, you can see it already. In two years, not two weeks, two years, my friend. Now, in four years, I would say that you can look really good. Really, really good. I mean, some good mass, some good definition. And I'm talking about years in which you are doing everything correctly. Nutrition and training and resting. Everything correctly, everything in your power to make it work. Four years and you look really good. If you want to look absolutely jacked, yoked to the peak of your capabilities, eight years, bro. Eight to ten years, it's when you'll be at the peak of your physique. It's a lot of time. Some people think they can get there in 10 weeks or 10 months. Get some realistic goals, brother. This is a marathon. This is not a sprint. This is not a race. You will take time to get where you want to be. You will look really good in one year, for sure. In, comp in comparison, you'll look like a totally different person. Same in two years, same in three or four. But if you want to look, to look jacked and yoked and to the best of your capabilities, it will take a long time, brother. And now, uh, this will vary a lot according to your genetic. Like we saw on the previous uh, photos, these guys looked way different one from the other, okay? You, maybe you guys thought, okay, this guy looks even better than the other one and this guy trains less time than the other one. Genetics, brother. You don't know your genetics until you get there. But yeah, I'm going off topic right now. This video was just to give you some guys some realistic expectations on how long you need to work out correctly to get yoked, to get checked, to get awesome. Now, if you guys like this video, go below my beautiful beard and click like and leave a comment saying, Celso, you have the most beautiful beard I've ever seen and greased my eyes in all of my life. Now, if you dislike this video, click the dislike button two times and leave a comment saying why you hated it so much. And please don't say it's my beard because I'm insecure. Now I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Horns popping. El new diet, I'm on him. I got options. Gonna pass on that dish like Stockton. Just run. This bad so good, I'm done. Gotta try this, I'm not lying. I'll make it top 10. I put a badge on the